Hello everyone and welcome to another computer game replay. This is Sarlok, um, bringing you a game of uh, Rome 2 Total War. Um, why such an old game and why does it look so terrible? Well, this is a 2013 game and I'm playing it on a 2013 laptop, my old MacBook Pro. i um, currently visiting my parents uh, for Christmas, so don't have access to my regular gaming computer. Um, and I thought I'd show you guys what I get up to when I'm out and about. Um, it's an old game, but it does run pretty well on low settings on my laptop, um, which has got an NVIDIA GT 750M graphics card. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and I'll show you a, what a battle looks like. Um, I'll be playing as Parthia. I pretty much completed the, the game already uh, with the main objectives, but um, I'm still going, I'm still in a few wars with some different factions that I haven't completely destroyed. So. This one, I have an army ready to invade a small town of um, the Averni faction, um, which dare to uh, attack me. They just declared war a few turns ago. So I'm just going to attack. I've got um, a relatively standard army for me at the moment. is um, six squads of um, heavy infantry, uh, some cavalry, some um, ballista, and um, these are like, um, what would you call, like the spear thrower units. Oh, they're not that useful, I'm probably going to get rid of them at some point. Uh, and then I've got a whole bunch of archers, um, some more light uh, cavalry, and my general. Uh, they don't have very much, they've um, they've got a scattering of um, of spear and, um, and medium infantry. I don't know what the rest of the units are, but I can't imagine there's anything too strong. They've only got, you know, less, just over half a stack of uh, troops. And the city I'm invading will have... Um, a handful of swordsmen, tribesmen and the like, so nothing too, too um, advanced. Should be easily destroyed by my, by my army. So let's invade. Here we go, so I'm strongly favoured to win. And we can see they've got just pretty much all melee infantry. Uh, against my mix of ranged and, and artillery and close, you know, elite heavy infantry, they have no chance really. So let's take a look. Now I have um, played around a bit with my recorder settings, so what you are seeing is should be pretty much what I'm seeing um, uh, in terms of the resolution at least. So rain is not the best condition I'm gonna wait a bit longer for dry yep perfect because I've got such a reliance on ranged units it's always good to have an advantage with the weather um, so I'm gonna place my artillery there's a slight slope here but not really enough to have a major advantage so I can just chuck them in the middle about there it's probably fine so they've gone quite oops they've gone quite for quite a wide army so, oh, shit. so I've been having a glitch recently when I place units that don't always go where I want. Uh, so you can see my artillery will start hitting them from about here. Um, they've gone for quite a wide arrangement, but they don't have too much flanking cavalry, which is nice. So it can be a pain to deal with. So I'll go for a relatively wide formation as well. Uh, let's get my archers fairly wide. There we go. And then my heavy infantry, I'll go extra wide. Okay, so I've actually got a mod enabled at the moment that lets me spam out a bunch of these um, uh, female units, which I, I think are, there's a free um, DLC that they added a while back. They're quite quite cool with this faction, they're some of the strongest units you can get, so I just spam them a lot. Um, it's quite ironic too, having these, <laughs> a bunch of female warriors going toe to toe in heavy melee. Um, I like getting my light cavalry on the flanks, so I'll put them, my light cavalry on my right and my general on the left that's pretty much me really really um i can place them a wee bit more forward but they're, they're fine there what i'll need to do is um some of these units will be hidden when they enter this forest so i'll charge forward with my light uh, cavalry and just um uh, just keep sight on them and a bit of harassing and that way my heavy my general can deal with their light cavalry uh, which is a good matchup so let's get into it um, you guys can charge through the middle, and they're slowly working into position. 
Oh, they're hitting more this angle. That's interesting and annoying. I hope they don't go too far wide because it's a pain to reposition units with this current bug I've got. Normally it's not too hard. You just group the whole army as one formation and then you can rotate the whole thing as one unit. But um, yeah, now just so I don't forget, I'm going to enable skirmish mode in my um, archers and that will prevent um, enemy from getting too close. They'll run away if they get to too close. Um, those skirmishers have javelins that can be quite deadly. And this squad of melee. Oh, hang on. Here's a missile as well. Okay, that's cool. Um, I'll get skirmish mode on you as well. I think these guys are armored with, armored with spears. Javelins? Yes, these are javelin uh, cavalry, not archer units. cavalry. So their range is a bit smaller. But they should do pretty well against uh, more armored units as well. Now at some point, once the infantry enter the range of my archers, I'm going to enable an ability on my archers that um, let them do bonus um, damage for a time. So I'll try and draw the, the army away with my cavalry on the wings. They're just sitting there. Oof, they're going to take a beating. So there's my archers. It's going to ripping into their like, cavalry, which is just standing still. That's so dumb. Oh, the AI is so good in this game. <laughs> they're all dying. Oh, they're gone. Oh, even the squad's getting ringed by my archers. So I enable this precision shot ability, which will do bonus damage. And these guys are going to bravely trying to approach my cavalry, but they're going to get ripped into as well. Ah, so funny. Right. At some point, I... You know, normally, I would just let them wait for me, but I'm just going to charge. Charge. So I'll charge with these guys, and these guys can attack here. And I'll get my general to start flanking. And what I can do is get these guys, this ca archers, to shoot this cavalry. So there's a kind of flank, which is not ideal. But, okay, that's retreating already. I can get this squad of Germanic scouts. How, what's their charge? Charge bonus 30? Yep, let's do it. I'm going to charge the rear of these spears. And we don't want to um, charge spearmen, but they're facing the wrong way. I'm going to mess them up oh yeah oh so good now i <laughs> i timed that badly because actually my own archers are shooting at them at the same time so a bit of friendly fire there but oh well, too bad these guys are going and I'm, i can actually just charge these guys in the middle i'll charge these guys because they're still steady with my heavy cavalry and they get a ability trample which does bonus damage so i'll enable that Let's check it out. This should be... Oh, these guys are shooting guys are getting in the way. But, they're going to get fucked up pretty badly. Yay, so they've gone from confident to shaken to wavering and they'll route any moment now. The only thing is I'm going to switch off my, cap, my um, artillery now because I have lost my general at times when they've been firing on my troops and the friendly fire just um, messes them up. Oh, uh, these guys are getting... Hit. Where did that, could that come from? Just a huh, noble horse out of nowhere. But let's get my other archers in the way. And I can get. I'm get my guys to retreat. Okay, now that they're, they're, they're retreating. Where's my general gone? It's over there. They're dead. So that got really messy. I mean, there used to be a button in the early Total War games where you could flash all the units to see who's good and who's on your side and who's not. I can't really see that very easily at the moment. You've just got to mouse over units to see the highlight. But uh, yeah, they're fucked up. 
and I can actually get these guys. Yeah, that's it. Done. Everyone's routed. We win. Yay. So we only lost 200 men out of, well, 260 out of 2,000. Ooh, these guys took a beating. That's interesting. I wasn't watching them carefully. Um, these guys are all very strong infantry. So I probably just let them get hammered by um, some enemy cavalry charges and um, some of their stronger units. But either way, it was a glorious victory. 10 to 1 um, KD ratio. I'm happy with that. And it kind of showcases the power of combined arms. Um, you can see from the stats, 150, 194 on these ballista. Um, these scorpions don't do as much damage. Um, they're good for more drawn out battles. They have more, um, what do you call? Ammunition. Um, but I tend to favor the ballista, to be honest. We won, yay. Now, what I normally do is, because this is an, an enemy town that I have not conquered before. It's gonna brutal briefly execute everyone boom because um, that way I can rebuild from scratch and uh, within a couple of turns I'll have a garrison of my own whereas if I try and um, just peacefully move in it takes more turns to re to convert the settlement the main settlement building to give me a garrison and by that point I have to keep the space defended the whole time so better just kill everyone start from scratch don't have to worry about incompatible buildings and uh, then I can, oh no, I don't have money for anything more. I might, yeah, no, but mine's fine. So that's that one done. Boom. Now this general, eventually I will push forward. Within a couple of turns I've uh, replenished my um, infantry a bit more. And I can keep pushing forward to the, um, to the right, to the east, left, sorry. To the west. Um... And I've got another general coming in from this side. Here we go, right here. He's gonna attack this city, which will isolate these two um, settlements. And that will basically completely cut off this faction from, their, from the northern territories. And that gives me a good position to then invade um, Spain. So um, just to give you an overview of this game, uh, strategic overview is a very good view. So Parthia, the faction I started with, begins all the way on, on here on the far east, um, this settlement. I started with Nisa, and I basically conquered all of um, the Middle East, um, the Balkans, uh, Germany, and uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, and now I'm into Italy, and uh, well that's not just Germany really, it's Eastern Europe. And uh, I've also conquered Turkey. And I'm working my way up through Libya and um, North Africa at the moment. Um, yeah, so it's been a it's been a slow battle. Um, I'll explain more. What I might do is um, um, if there's a discount on the DLCs, I might pick up a, a DLC to get some new factions, and I'll start a new campaign with um, with a new faction on my regular gaming desktop, and maybe show you guys more about what this game is about from scratch. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Until next time.